If there is a directional change of material property, like for example seismic wave speed, that's an isotropy. Take for example this set of walls as an analogy. You travel much faster in one direction, that's an isotropy. An isotro, an isotro, an isotropy. An isotro, an isotro, an isotropy. We can see a similar thing if cracks or faults align. This happens often in the crust and isotropy will be a sign. In the upper mantle or levy behaves rather similarly. If aligned on a large scale if she waves enter, they will split, and two waves we can see. One moves fast and one moves slow because of an isotropy. An isotro, an isotro, an isotropy. An isotro. We can measure time and angle with which those waves are hitting our broadband seismic stations, and that is sheer wave splitting. By measuring these parameters of fast waves, fast and slow. We gain insight into the nature of, for example, mental flow. An isotro, an isotro, an isotropy. An isotro, an isotro, an isotropy. S wave, 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 Great, we have an S wave. So let's put it in an anisotropic medium and see what happens. Right, here we are, it's anisotropic. We have a fast shear wave. The slow one is obviously slower, so let's wait. Oh, hooray! There's the slow shear wave. And yep, it's slower. <laughs> so, that is some good on isotropy. Oh, even stronger on isotropy here. And the velocity difference between fast and slow shear wave is even larger. So if this were a scientific study, I mean, which it obviously is, <laughs> then we would use that information now to determine details like strength or the thickness of anisotropic layers. And unless they reached a discontinuity, they traveled happily ever after. <laughs> Thank you.